Lord, the Son of the Father, the take of the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take of the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may remind your majesty's service and ceasingly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Response, the Lord is king with majesty and rule. The Lord is king with majesty and rule. The Lord is king with majesty and rule. The Lord has ruled himself with might. He has girded himself with power. Response, the Lord is king with majesty and rule. The world you make firm not to be moved. 
the throne has to come the common end. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house. O Lord, until the end of time. Your response, the Lord is king with majesty and glory. The second reading. A reading from the book of Apocalypse. Ruler of kings on earth, he made us a kingdom, priest and his God. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth. To him who loves us, has freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us a kingdom, which is born and father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Everyone who fears him and all the tribes of the earth will wait on the count of him, even so. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord of God. The least and the worst and the least to come with their life. This is the word of God. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Pilate said to Jesus, "I am the King of Jews." Jesus answered, "Do you say this of your own accord?" Or did others say to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. And you, what have you done? Jesus answered, My kingship is not of this world. If my kingship were of this world, my servants would fight that I might not be handed over to the Jews. But my kingship is not from the world. Pilate said to him, So you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this was I born, and for this I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. The Gospel of the Lord.
today, as we celebrate the Feast of the Christ King, we are invited to reflect on the reign of Jesus, not as a king of earthly power, but as a king who rules with love, mercy, service. His kingdom is not of this world, and his role is one of purity, peace, and justice. As scriptures reminds us, my kingdom is not from this world. Christ the King came not to conquer the with weapons or armies, but to conquer the hearts with his own love, to heal the broken and to bring light into the darkness. On this special feast day, we are also reminded of the call to live under this kingship in our own lives. The way Christ rule is the way we are called to rule in our families, communities, and in the world through service, sacrifice, and duty. Our lives must reflect this way as we strive to follow this example and bring this kingdom closer to our world. In a personal experience, many of us are going to have a grace to visit, uh, visit Goa, where we are going to witness the exposition of the body of St. Francis Xavier. St. Francis, like Christ, was a missionary whose life was dedicated to spreading the kingdom of God. As we are going to witness the stories of this great saint, we are also reminded of the eternal reign of Christ, whose love and mercy transcend time and place. St. Francis Xavier devoted his life to bring souls to Christ, preaching the gospel with seeing and living out the kingship of Christ in the world. Just as St. Francis Xavier proclaimed the kingdom of God to the far corners of the earth, we too are called to be missionaries in our lives, proclaiming Christ the King, not only through our words, but through our actions. Let us ask ourselves, we are allowing Christ to be King in our lives. Are we serving others with the same love He showed us? As we approach the end of the liturgical year, let us recommit ourselves to living as citizens of the kingdom of God, ready to serve, love, and spread Christ's reign of peace and justice wherever we go. May Christ the King of all reign in our hearts and in our world. Amen.
the human race. Is reconciled to you. We humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gift of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just for duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering Himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, He might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and make all created things subject to his own. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life. A kingdom of holiness and grace. A kingdom of love and peace. And so with all the angels and archangels, the thoughts and dominions. You are indeed calling the Lord, the Lord of all holiness. May the holy therefore these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them by the new Lord, so that they will become for us the body and bread of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time you must be prayed. The time you must be prayed and ended in his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, brought it and gave him for his eyes, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of this, for this is my body which will be given up for you. This is the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples the same, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of him. <laughs> the mystery of faith We proclaim our death, O Lord, and purpose our resurrection, and we will come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the death and glory of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be one by the Holy Spirit. The Lord of the Church, Lord of the World, bring him to us of charity together with practice of hope, Bishop Philip Mary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen in sleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Of course, you us all, we pray that with the blessed Lord Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, the other saints, for peace to all the ages, we may be rejoiced in your life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes the visits of the world, and there those who call 
for the supper of the Lamb.